much for joining us. You are watching today's Spotlight, and I'm your host, Sloan Williams, and we are standing on the red carpet at the 24th Annual Trumpet Awards, hosted here in Atlanta, Georgia. Tonight's event is being hosted by Thespians Terrence J. and Nia Long. The Trumpet Awards acknowledges men and women who have made major contributions to enhancing the quality of life for us all. You're gonna hear some exclusive interviews, you're gonna see some crazy fashion walking down this red carpet, so don't touch that dial, we'll be right back. Hey, how are you? I'm Sloan. Pleasure to meet you. I, I'm trying. Joining us now is Joe. How you doing? Lovely, lovely. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Could you tell us what does the Trump Awards mean to you, sir? Oh, excellence. Um, a lot of camaraderie uh, between all the, the honorees and uh, just being here part of my people community. You know, it's, it's a beautiful event. Um, it's positive. It's something that reaches out to those who are doing great things yes. in this industry. We need more of that. Absolutely. How many years have you attended the Trumpet Awards? This is my second year, so I'm very year. fortunate. Okay. Hopefully I'll be, a bit, be back for more. Oh, you're going to do great. Yes. Are you performing tonight? I am. I am performing, so look out for it. Could you guys please tell us what the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Um, just the, the opportunity to honor and acknowledge some amazing people, and, and it's an honor to be able to present anything and, and to even be here, you know, to be acknowledged enough to present. So I, I love it. I'm, yes. I'm having a ball. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited to see him present tonight and uh, represent our show. We are having a blast at Saints and Sinners, and uh, we can't wait for people to watch it and tune in every single week on every Sunday week. night. And March 6th. March 6th. <laughs> March 6th. <laughs> and be entertained. And the Trumpet Awards are airing on Bounce TV this year. So we're excited. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, an amazing night. We get to acknowledge some really, really great people, great energy, you know, all these beautiful, amazing people dressed yeah. up. So it's going to be a good night. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the performances and all the fashion. I'm loving okay. seeing all the ladies turn it up and show out, okay? Yeah, you guys did a wonderful job tonight. I'm loving it. Black and gold, absolutely. You guys enjoy your night. Stay warm, and thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Hey, Queen. Somebody How you doing? My name is Sloan. How are you? I'm good. So tell us what's going on here. Well, I'm Miss Black Teen U.S. Ambassador. Wow. Yes, I am from the state of Texas. Texas in the house. Okay. Yep. Now, is this your first year attending the Trumpet Awards? This is, yes. So what are you looking forward to the most tonight? I'm definitely ready to see some good entertainment and maybe meet some people who uh, make changes in the community like I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Um, it's a great um, way for people to collaborate, come together, and celebrate black excellence. And that's what I love. That was a great answer. Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful night. You look Thank beautiful. You. You Thank you. How you doing, Terrence J? Could you please tell us? He's hosting tonight's event. Tell us how you feel about that. Uh, I'm so excited, man. I get to work with Nia Long. Uh, I'm a big fan of her, and, and so many incredible people will be here tonight. Uh, so I'm really excited. Yes. Could you please tell us about your upcoming movie, Perfect Match, as well? Uh, you got to see this movie. Cassie does a phenomenal job. I get to be uh, Paula Patton's brother, um, and, and just, just such an amazing cast. Um, it hits theaters March 11th, so March 11th. I look forward to it. I will definitely be there. Thank you so much for your time. Is this your first time attending the Trumpet Awards? This is not my first time attending. I actually have been here for the past four years, three to four okay. years. I usually help produce this red carpet event. Okay. So this time I'm walking on the red carpet to represent women empowerment and just the docu-series from the bottom up and, you know, encouraging people to, you know, work together and empower each other. And I think that's what the Trumpet Awards represent. So I'm happy to be here. And which one do you prefer being behind the scenes or on the scenes on the carpet? You know, you there's a benefit in both of them. And then it's, uh, both of them have their ups and downs, you know. So <laughs> look, the down of this one. One is when it's cold, you still gotta act like you are just oh well, yeah, summertime. Right. But <laughs> in production, you can keep your jacket on and look kind of grimy. But then people catch pictures of you looking crazy when you're doing production. So yeah. So it's, one it's more question: down. What does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? The Trumpet Awards, well, what it means to me is where we honor and we actually um, show homage to so many people that are doing wonderful things in the community and beyond. And so, and it's a really positive message and a very positive, um, you know, ceremony. So it just it just means uplifting to me. And I think we really do need some uplifting if, with what we're going through right now. That was a great answer. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Nice it was nice meeting you. What does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Uh, the Trumpet Awards is here to represent um, different powerful people in the community that are doing things and I'm excited to see who's here. I'm definitely excited to see Neo. I love me some Neo and I hope he throw in a little line or two and start singing. 
So I'm excited to be here. Join us now at Salt and Spinderella. How are you? Good. We're doing great. We're excited. Yes. What are you looking forward to tonight the most? Oh, there's a salt and pepper tribute. We'll be That's performing. Probably, um, yes. The one I'm looking for now. <laughs> it's our 30th anniversary, and we're kicking it off at the Trumpet Awards. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing well. Would you please introduce yourself for us. I'm Frederick Douglass Haynes III, Senior Pastor, Friendship West Baptist Church, Dallas, Texas. And I see you're wearing something there. Can you tell us about that. Oh yeah, I was honored yesterday. Great honor. Uh, I was inducted into the uh, International Civil Rights Walk of Fame, so I'm excited. Yes, could you please introduce your beautiful family here? This is my daughter, Avani Jewel Haynes, and my lovely wife, Deborah Peek Haynes. Thank you so Thank much. You. What does the Trumpet Award mean to you all? All oh, the Trumpet Awards say that Black Lives Matter. The Trumpet Awards say that black achievement is real, mm -hmm. and when so many people consider black lives disposable, Zanona Clayton says, oh no, uh, all lives matter, but especially black lives in this season. So we're extremely excited about that. How you doing, Dr. Jones? Good to see you. Could you just tell us what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? The Trumpet Award means a whole lot to me. I have three. <laughs> one of these and the spiritual one and the other one, you know. And to, and to be in the company of these kinds of people, it's very important, just like you are. Thank you so much. Thank You're welcome. Us. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. My name is Sloan with Today's Spotlight. Will you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Judah Swilly. I'm uh, one of the pastors and preachers of Preachers of Atlanta. Okay, and when are you airing? Tell us about your show. Yeah, so we're airing February 3rd. It's a Wednesday night, 10 p.m. on Oxygen Channel, and uh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm just hyped up and, and stoked about what's about to happen. Okay, and what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Trumpet Awards mean everything to me. It's, it's a privilege and an honor to be a part of this tonight. Uh, it honors African American culture and I, as a white person I get to be a part of that and uh, it's an honor to be to be invited. Tonight I'm looking forward to the performers and the, and the presenters and I just want to I want to make contacts and, and new networks and uh, new friends and that's what I'm here to do. My name is Canton Jones. I am an, uh, a gospel artist and uh, I'm a part of this cast called Preachers of Atlanta so we're doing reality okay. shows. Yeah. So you gotta watch it. You and your family it's gonna shock you. It's crazy stuff. Also there's a record coming out called I Am Justice uh, I do music as well. Okay. We hot with it. We hood with it, but we love Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's okay and, uh, to mix it yeah, to yeah, music. All, day, all day. Yes. And what is the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Man, awesome, man. I mean, uh, Miss Clayton always honors people that you you really don't honor all the time. Those people who are working in the community, that's good stuff to us. Because when you're a pastor, because I'm a pastor, um, when you're a pastor, it's all about the community. It's all about people who may not be able to reciprocate what you're doing for them. And it's always about God, and that's the purpose. Okay, can you give us a little bit of information about your church? Yes, um, Free Life Church. Um, it's a Thursday church. <laughs> Okay. We don't do Sundays. We like we it. encourage uh, families to take a vacation. Okay. We do uh, seven to eight thirty. It's an ADD church, so 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 we got to get out fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it's awesome, man. Uh, hip hop, praise and worship. Um, it's real cool, chill. But you'll never uh, you, you, if you want to come to a place to see brothers with neck tattoos broken down into the presence <laughs> of God, gold teeth, but loving God. Uh -huh. Free Life is where you need to be Thursday night, 2821 Mount Zion Road, Jonesboro, Georgia. We'll hey. see you get there early. We're serving pizza. I live in Jonesboro. I'm going to be there. Let's go. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, join us now is Mr. George Wallace, the man, the comedian, and the legend. How are you feeling today? Now, listen, I'm feeling really good because I'm being honored tonight. Am I supposed to say something funny tonight or am I supposed to just say thank you for the award and, and, and walk off? What am I you just to? be yourself. Well, I, you know, what I do is like one of the, like the preachers did yesterday and lie. I won't be long. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? The Trumpet Awards mean, as far as any awards, yes, this is the pinnacle, this is the summit, this is it. And you know, everybody's worried about the Oscars and all of those awards and, and the ESPN wow. and the, and the uh, Emmys and things like that. This is us honoring us and we'll never stop. Thank God, thank you, Mrs. Nona Clayton. God is good, we're so blessed to be here. Anybody being honored at the Trumpet Award, you know when the trumpet sounds, that means something is getting ready to happen, right? Yes. Amen, uh-huh. Well, thank you so much, congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you so much, uh-huh. Introduce yourself. My name is Zoo Man Miller. Yeah, Rodney Perry, we, we, we're gonna be uh, involved in the tribute for our man, um, George Wallace, George Wallace. this the evening, man. One. Yeah, the black He's the man of the hour tonight. Yeah, he is yeah. the man of the hour, yeah. and, and, and we, wanna, we wanna just say two words for George. Okay, what would you like to say? 
Your mom. Your mama. <laughs> and we know you're gonna fire back, but right now your mama is, <laughs> is, is the talk of the this situation. This is a very nice lady. And your mama is a person. very really wonderful, is. beautiful lady. And what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you, two gentlemen? Uh, well, there's a lot of talk right now about awards that aren't celebrating us. This is the reason why you have Trumpet Awards, so we can really celebrate us by people who understand what we're doing. They know what we've been doing. They've been with us since we started. We love these types of things. And, and, and it's about community. You know, I mean, we, we talk about all the time what we need to do, and then you look at an award show like this, it's doing it. It's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, will you please introduce yourself for us? I'm Walt Harris with the NFL Former Players and Players Association. Wait, and how are you doing tonight? Wonderful. That's doing good. Good, good, good. And what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm just looking forward to being here. I'm just already happy at, at this time. And just being here to support and always give back. Okay. And what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Well, it's, it, 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 it means paying, paying the way. You know, it's always, it means reaching back and helping others. And to me, you know, that's how the reason why I'm here today and the reason why I made it to the level that I played at because someone paid the way for me. Is this your first time attending the awards? Yes, well, this is my first time. Well, welcome. Absolutely, I'm enjoying it. Have a good time tonight. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>
what we are as a group of African American women who've been blessed to be elected to represent our interests. Yeah. And our interests are the interests of everybody else. You yeah. know, opportunity, education, yeah. job, safety, and security. Yes, so I'm just grateful to have this, this particular opportunity and acknowledgement. You know, this is extremely important. And when you think about recent uh, events uh, with the Oscars, you have to appreciate this event even more. Even and I can tell you, the, the fearless founder, Ms. Clay, uh, Clayton, she has really kept this alive for 24, 24 years. years. And, uh, and, and that's amazing when you consider just the numbers, the, 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 the money uh, that you have to get together in order to do something like this. And I'm so, um, I was so stunned and surprised to find that members, uh, women members of the Congressional Black Caucus were being honored because we work in the vineyards day in and day out. Um, uplifting our people, uh, everything from the Black Lives Matter and gun violence and uh, making sure that there are supports for, uh, for, for our people, prison reform, and, and, and you know, who knew that someone would really notice our work? Yes, and, and we're very appreciative. It's quite an honor. We were all very flattered to be recognized for our work and achievement, and hopefully all of us are role models to other young ladies yeah, that know that they can do it too. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations on being honored tonight. Thank you. What are you looking forward to, to seeing tonight the most? Oh, just the whole thing. The whole thing. Just the yeah. whole thing That's is exciting. And day. being with my colleagues is absolutely fabulous. I am the 100th woman elected to the 113th Congress. You know, in politics, if you want something said, you ask a man. If you want something done, you ask a black woman. You absolutely We do. got it. We're so privileged to be here. And uh, we appreciate the, the opportunity and the honor. It's a time for us to acknowledge the accomplishments of African Americans. And I'm so proud to stand 20 strong with black women in Congress and to really send a message that we have a seat at the table and we want more people to become engaged. Yes ma'am. I think it's important for the world to know that women are represented across the states and that we make a difference because when women succeed, America succeeds. And that's what you're going to see tonight. And I'm proud to say I'm from the great state of Ohio. Ohio. And I represent the Motown. I represent the city of Detroit. Pleasure to meet you both. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations. Mm -hmm. We have royalty in our presence. Will you please introduce yourself? Uh, Princess Basma Al Saud from Saudi Arabia. And she is being honored tonight. Will you please tell us about that honor? Well, Mrs. Clayton has actually picked me up and, and uh, sent me a message saying, Come here, girl. <laughs> So I came here uh, from being um, humbled by all these beautiful women of the Congress yes. who have done so much uh, over the years. And um, I feel, uh, as a sister, I feel um, uh, honored to be, to be here, uh, to share all my experiences with them and uh, put it in history, at least in mine. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you, ma'am? Um, Martin Luther King, um, that's, that's a, a, a history by itself and um, he's a king by all means, king of all times. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to the most tonight? Uh, that experience, sharing the experience with, with so many um, uh, women and men uh, that have done something for humanitarian life, civil rights and that's an honor by itself. Okay, well, Your Highness, enjoy your night, and it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. <laughs>it's a pleasure to meet you thank you too thank you yes today's spotlight well please introduce yourself for us hi i'm dr helen de la Husse and i've got a book coming out okay. believe in you one more time okay one more time and so i'm excited to be at the trumpet awards i'm from houston texas okay. and this is just this, this is mind-blowing especially to see all of us come together oh my goodness there's nothing like it it's nothing like tell it. us when is this book released spring 2016. Okay. Be on the lookout. Yes, you tell us what does the Trump divorce mean to you, ma'am? Oh man, it means so much. Um, collaboration, um, heritage, passion, um, freedom. 
purpose, reinventing ourselves so much. Yeah. And what are you looking forward to tonight the most? Um, just bringing um, a spirit of, of newness and receiving. I'm in receiving mode. So I came here tonight, you know, because I too am reinventing myself. I just had a 40th birthday. Hey, uh, birthday. And I have eight children. Happy birthday. You look fabulous, honey. Yes, fabulous, fabulous. Thank you. How you doing, sir? I'm Sloan with today's spotlight. I'm Martin. How it's are a you? pleasure to meet you. Man. You have your trumpet on you. Yes, I was gonna play it, but it was like frozen. No, it was frozen. Oh man. Hey. Yes, yeah, press frozen. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. A piece came off. That's why. I'm gonna have to go get it. A piece fell off. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Yes, I gotta get it. I'm gonna talk to you for a minute, but I'm gonna go find out where this piece is because that thing is a million dollar piece. Well, please introduce yourself for us. My name is Skip Martin. I'm from the Daz Band on uh, Confunction, and we had a great time last year here getting a Legends Award. And I'm so glad to be here again tonight to share and support and give some acknowledgement to others that have committed and sacrifice to be here. Join us now is another fabulous guest on the red carpet. Will you please introduce yourself? I'm attorney Gordon Joyner here in Atlanta. Was honored yesterday by the Trumpet Awards as an inductee into the International Civil Rights Walk of Fame. And this is my even more famous daughter, <laughs> Ashley Joyner Chavis. Yes, she is. Smart, brilliant, and beautiful. And she's an attorney in Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you two looking forward to tonight the most? Well, I'll let you go first. I'm just looking forward to a wonderful evening with my dad. It's been a while since I've attended the Trumpet Awards, but I grew up attending the awards, and so I'm looking forward to seeing how it's evolved over the years. Well, I'll start there. I am so happy to be here with my daughter because the last time I was able to be with her like this was in August of last year at her wedding in Washington, D.C. Yes, yes. But we are such huge fans of Ms. Zernona Clayton, the founder and the CEO and the board chair for the Trumpet Awards. She created this opportunity for America to celebrate black achievement and for us to be so proud of it and for the rest of the country to become aware of it. And that's what I'm looking forward to tonight. It's so exciting. What does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? Trumpet Awards means to me a blue ribbon moment in American society and American history. And you notice I didn't just say black history. Okay, let me get. Come on, come bow it up for me real quick. Sorry. So at least it's playing. You got it playing now. He found it. So. Yes. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. You are so sweet for coming back. I appreciate it so much. Got to make sure it happens. You know. That's so sweet. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. From Skip yeah. Martin from the Daz Band. Hey. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> we'll play no games. <laughs> How are you? It's a long, it's a pleasure to meet you today's spotlight. Hi. Hi, Miss Demetra McKinley. Oh my God, you just dropped a new single. Please tell us about it with Candy. Unnecessary, unnecessary trouble. Features Miss Candy Burris. Had a little bit of baby Ace in there in case they didn't see him, but it was it was a great time. We're having a great moment with it. It's doing super well and it's coming out on the album officially yours this quarter. Okay, and what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you? The Trumpet Awards really just kind of shouts out that we are great. You know, they have so many things that display us in such a negative light. Every culture has its ups, its downs, but this right here has been something that has solidified us as beautiful, blessed community pe people. And what are you looking forward to tonight the most? Soy and Peppers here. Uh, and then they got yo yo. And was, I mean, it's just, yeah. Cinderella's just here. be ready because I'm going to be getting it in in my dress. <laughs> well, you look amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great evening. You too. Thank you. Join us now with Mr. Alvy Shore. How you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing absolutely amazing. Thank you for asking. I'm excited to be here in Atlanta, Georgia, the Trumpet Awards. Yes. Zenona has created something globally recognized, which is so significant to. Uh, just to the appreciation of, 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 of the culture. Um, and it's so monumental to the point that the entire globe recognizes this particular event. And I remember when it was invented. So uh, I think I was there in the office with her or something. And, and she's still looking 45 years old. And what are you looking forward to tonight the most? Uh, you know, the entire program is amazing. I mean, everything that I've seen thus far, uh, but 
I have a special affinity to Kelly Price and Raheem Devon, and actually Vivian Green as well. I might as well name all the performers. The, the, sh the show is awesome, and I'm Absolutely. looking forward to tonight. Mr. Powell, come back. <laughs> Mr. Powell, join us now as Clifton Powell. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm good. It's hot out here. Y'all should be here. It's so hot. <laughs> Yes. Can you tell us, what does the Trumpet Awards mean to you, Mr. Powell? To me, the Trumpet Awards, like I said earlier, it's about humanitarianism. It's about supporting, you know, um, people around the country and around the world, mm -hmm. uh, internationally, that are doing yes. wonderful things. And I think it's a time for uh, us to really start thinking about unity in this Absolutely. country. You know, there's so much going on with the Oscars and then mm -hmm. some of the comments that Stacey Dash has that has, you know, people in an uproar, yeah. you know. Um, we, we have to remind people that, you know, God ain't done yet, you know, and Absolutely. we got to keep fighting for equality. That's all it is. Absolutely. And what are you looking forward to tonight the most? Uh, you know, I'm seeing salt and pepper in there, and, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm old school, MC Light and uh, Joe hey, and, 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 my, and, you know, some of my friends out in the audience. So I'm, I'm just glad to see everybody come together and have a good time. Absolutely. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you again. Yes, again. And my name is Sam. We met a few weeks ago yes. at Scales 925. Yeah, 925. Yes. Hey, hey. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, my name is Sloan Williams of Today's Spotlight. Tonight has been absolutely amazing. We got some exclusive interviews. We've seen some wonderful fashion and we appreciate your time. Check us out, stay tuned, and thank you. Sloan Williams, tuning out.